I'm, I'm upside down. I don't know what way, whether I'm coming or going. And uh, my, my family, uh, one, one, one part of my family, uh, uh, they live in Stockton on Tees. And they were worrying about me like, I don't know what, because if anything happens, it's always me it happens to, you know. <laughs> Talk about the look of the Irish. <laughs> I don't know where they were when I was, when I was born. <laughs> I was well boosted because we were preparing for our St. Patrick's Day on Trafalgar Square. We were going to sing there. And at the last rehearsal, the virus took over and it was locked down. On the 23rd of March, on my 80th birthday, they locked me up. And I was sitting there and my daughters had to come here. And I couldn't even, go, I was so sorry, I couldn't go near them. And I thought to myself, is this it? Yes, I picked up the coronavirus in about the third week of March and uh, was really ill, uh, was struggling for breath, um, would not go to the hospital. But my granddaughter lived nearby and she came and helped me through it. Every day I was in the Irish Centre and to me it seemed terrible. I help people, I'm a volunteer and it was just, I was getting more depressed because I couldn't get out and I knew people needed help and I couldn't help them but I had to depend on other people to help me. When lockdown hit, I missed my family most of all because I used to babysit my grandchildren one of my sons lives in Surrey and we used to come and go from there, just hop on a train, say we're coming and, you know, we took all that for granted and then lockdown hit and of course we had to stop all that. Well, we happened to close the day before Paddy's Day, which was a big decision for us. And then we got the news three days later that every pub had to close. So we decided we'll enjoy it. And I said to all of my family to enjoy it. And, and not to start worrying, because worrying won't get you anywhere. Hello, my name is uh, Michael O'Connor, or Mick O'Connor, but don't take the Mick, please. And um, my Irish connection is um, my parents. My mother was from Tralee County Kerry, and my father from Ballinlock in County Roscommon. It was good, yeah, we kept, we kept up the music we did, and the parties, and there was birthday parties here even, three birthday parties in this garden here, and we had good crowds. Going through the lockdown and, and what it has prepared us for, um, I think of Ireland, and, 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 and in, that, in that first thoughts of Ireland when I, when I heard the, the news about the virus, I just wanted to get on a plane. I just wanted to go home. I just wanted to walk with Dervil Galdov down Dolly Mount Strand. And then also the literature and the, the, the kind of great kind of culture of our country, I started to think about that. Yes, when this is all over, this virus, my plan is to go back home to Ireland for security reasons and family all around me. I have six sisters and four brothers and they all have their families and their but grandchildren and now the great-grandchildren. So I would be in heaven. When you think of the industry that we're in, the amount of people that are out of work, and, and I'm talking about not just musicians and singers, but sound engineers and uh, roadies and uh, lighting crew and everything else, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a serious situation, but we have to keep going and there will be light at the end of the tunnel, hopefully, for everybody. I had the vaccine. The last time you talked talk to me, I had a dark blue navy on. Look at me now. I'm as bright as the sun itself, only if it only come out. Now, I go shopping for my daughter <laughs> because they're isolating. And it's the other way around now. But I'm, people looking after me, now I'm looking after them. 
which I did in the past, and I'll keep doing it, and I will not give up. <laughs>